Well, everything seems to be in order, people. Uh, this is Detective Pikachu, and if I am not mistaken... Hold on a second. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is part 6 of our blank playthrough. Yesterday should have been 5, I believe. Yep, indeed it was. I believe I've already got it, all of the previous episodes exported to YouTube. Yep, it seems like it's 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Alright, then we're good to go. Let's do that. Oh, uh, ah, yeah. I did use a safe state yesterday, but I don't think... Yeah, okay. It was uh, not necessary to use the safe state. Because it saved uh, j legitimately just at the right... Uh, at the same spot, anyway. Phew, well, we managed to get in. It says. Yeah, now let's have a look around. Quietly, though. Search the interior of the warehouse. Watch out. When you investigate, do it without getting caught. All right, keep that makes moving. noise. Meta. Come on, pick up the pace. Meta, meta. Meta, meta. Pikachu, look at that guy. Oh, it's the same one from the photo. Alexander Wilde. Hey, come here. Anything to report? No, nothing out of the ordinary. Good. Mr. Norman wants us to keep the security here extremely tight. Don't even let a Rattata through. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, Did you sir. Hear that? Keith Norman. So this must be. Yeah, their base of operations. Now let's have a real good look around. Hey, Tim. Tim! Thought we were supposed to be uh, quiet. <laughs> First thing is to scout the area since it seems like we're the only ones on this floor. It's a good chance to scope out the first floor, but be careful, okay? Don't get caught. Got it, I'll be extra quiet. What's the layout of the first floor? What are you doing, Tim? Trying to get us caught? That's the stairway to the first floor. We need to scope out the area first by looking down from this floor. Alright, okay. Nothing back there. Well, I can't look down, can I? This also seems like a good spot. Go on, Tim, take a look. Okay. There are stairs here, but if we go down there, they'll see us. Yeah, the security guards aren't slacking off. Excel. Knock them out? That's our last resort. No, it's not any kind of resort. We need to handle things quietly. Metang are carrying, carrying out the containers. They're certainly hardworking. I hope it's not R they're shipping out. Look. Those must be guards. What are they talking about? Hey, anything unusual? Nope, nothing to report. Good. Still, let's keep our eyes open. Yeah, the manager doesn't want even Ratata. Ratata? Is it Ratata? Or Ratata? I guess it's Ratata. Getting inside. That's not good. They seem like they're on high alert. We better keep our distance, huh? They're still talking. Let's go listen to them. Hey, do you know what's going on in the room in the back? I uh, guess they told you to stay away from that place too, huh? Don't tell anyone I told you, but they're incubating something. What do you mean? Not sure myself. I only overheard Mr. Norman talking to the manager. They said it could only be done by someone they've got here or something like that. Don't tell anyone, okay? Got it. Sounds like something we shouldn't be messing with anyway. So Keith does come here, and I wonder if that man we saw is the factory manager. He must be, and they said they're incub incubating. That's the word for growing more cells of something, right? The only thing like that related to R is... I think we're on the same page there. It's got to be Mewtwo cells. Whoever is incubating them is in the room in the back. Oh, they got more to say. Cultivation. Let's listen in on what they're saying. Have you seen it today? Nah, not yet. Maybe it'll come back in a bit. I can't wait. It's so nice, you know? Yeah, it really warms my heart. Maybe I'll give it a treat again. What are they talking about? They said something about treats, so maybe it's a kid? 
or a Pokemon in a place like this. Looks like they're finally done talking. All right, let's stay sharp. Yeah, not even a rat is getting past us. Looks like this is the only way in or out. I guess they have it open in order to ship stuff out. I think we've seen all there is to see here. If we linger too long, we'll get caught. Right. We sure found out a lot. You can say that again. Make sure you've got it all written down so we don't forget. We need to check the floor below, but there are guards on duty. If we try going down the stairs, we'll be caught right away. Hey, they're talking about something. Today is my first day, sir. Ah, yes, thanks for joining. I'd like to explain what we do at this factory first. Yes, sir, I'd love to hear it. Excuse me, I'm gonna get my coffee in the meantime. Although it's already started to go, to go cold. <laughs> this warehouse is a factory? Well, we could do with an explanation too. Let's hear what he's got to say. Yeah. You can hear what they're saying. So you know what we're making here, right? No, sir, I don't. What? You didn't even do a bit of research? We make health food. I'm sure you've seen the commercials, you know? So smelly, you know it's good for you. Oh yeah, I know. That awful, uh, I mean, that commercial with Max and Chadot. So it's not just our they make here. Quite the elaborate camouflage. So the stinky container was health food, huh? I don't care how good it is for you. I still don't get why they're making something so smelly and awful. Are they still talking? Maybe it's to cover the smell of whatever else it is they're making, no? If it's making them more money than the food itself, it doesn't matter that the food doesn't sell, I guess. But to make it worth it would be it would have to be an order of magnitude more profitable making the R. Oh well. Are they still talking? You're still chatting away. That's what you'll be doing, got it? Yes, sir, got it all down. Good to hear. Oh, I almost forgot. This is very important. Be sure to never ever touch the switch next to the next to the conveyor belt. Yes, sir, but can I ask why? That switch controls which direction the conveyor belt is moving in. If you accidentally bump it, it can cause a lot of problems. What do you mean? Oh, a newcomer pressed it by accident a while, ba a while back and immediately got fired. All the products were sent back to the room next to this one and made a complete mess. We were able to get up and running in a few hours, but man, the manager blew his stop, yelling about how we didn't even we didn't need even more work to do. That sounds terrifying. I'll be careful. So the factory manager took charge of getting things back in order. Pikachu, they're still talking. May I ask one question? What is it? I noticed that door behind me. What's going on in that room? Everyone seems to be avoiding it. Oh, that room. Between you and me, there's a scientist in there. Georgia! Some kind of new product research. Who knows? The only thing the managers told us is to steer clear at all costs. RNG! I'm good, thank you. Tired, but good. How about you? Just got up, I imagine. The only thing the manager has told us is to steer clear at all costs. I bet it is some kind of new product. I'd love to know more about it, sir. I'd be happy to take part in experiments, even. Forget it, trust me. You don't want to be heard talking about this. You could get me fired, too. Tim, did you hear that? You mentioned the scientist. That must be the man in the lab coat. Same. No, you just got off work. Oh, okay. What, were you on night shift or something? And he's in that room. The scientist's room. Ah, but no, 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 it's earlier than me for you. Yeah, true. Yeah, no, you're not ahead. You, you, I am ahead of you, not the other way around. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got things confused. See how your superiors do their work first. Learn from them. Yes, sir, but uh, why does the manager keep looking this way? He might hear you, just get used to it. There are still some things we need to investigate, right? Take a good look around. Right. That must be the door the workers were talking about. That's where the researcher is. Hey, a fire alarm. I bet things would get interesting if we set it off. There you go again with your crazy ideas. It would be chaos. And that's exactly what we want. Go, Axel Gore. Excel! No, wait, Excelgore. He was joking. Wait, 
Excel. I'm glad you listened. Mm. Stuff keeps coming from the room in the back. And stuff keeps going to the room in the back. Is there another room over there? That's the man in the photo. He definitely looks like he's in charge here. Does he just stand there and keep an eye on the workers all day? Man, this is one place I never want to work in. This must be the switch for the conveyor belt. Is this guy taking things from one conveyor belt and putting them on the other one? Uh... He's letting the closed box go... past him? And then what, he's gonna pick the other one? No. Ah, yes he is. Okay. Why is he doing that? He's sending them back the way they came or something. Okay, uh, it's what they used to switch the direction it moves in. What? Still some stuff you want me to see? What, this dude? This must be inspection. It looks like they're checking for defects before replacing things. Ah... It seems like there are a lot of defects. I think we've covered everything. I think we can wrap up our investigation of this area for now. Uh, my phone. Where's my phone? <sighs> I'm feeling hot. You look hot too. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll make a note of anything we find. Yeah, counting on you. The man in the photo looks like the factory manager. The man in the lab goes <gasps> to the next room over. But is that where they're making R? This also seems like a good spot. Go on, Tim. Take a look. Okay. What's the temperature in here? I need to know. I turned off the heater before I left for work because there was simply no need for it to be going. With the sun shining in the windows, it was getting hot in here anyway, but... The whole thing, you should remove the shirt to cool off. <laughs> that might get me in trouble with Twitch, though. Yeah, 21 degrees. Yeah, Twitch guidelines and that kind of shit. <laughs> if ladies can't remove the top to stream, <laughs> then guys are not allowed either, apparently. <laughs> so I do try to avoid it as much as possible. A power board? Should be able to switch off all the power to the warehouse from there. Look at all these boxes, I wonder what they're for. It really does look more like a factory than a warehouse, doesn't it? Look, a ladder. We'd be able to get down to the first floor from anywhere if we had it. It's not like we can go get it, though. Let's try and figure out some other way. Machamp. And it looks like they're closing the lids on the containers. They're definitely putting their backs into it. And all their arms, too. <laughs> I'll just take a private stream to see you topless then. <laughs> the workers are here. Man, they look unmotivated. Even the Pokemon here look more energetic. We've checked everything we can see from here. I think we should wrap our investigation of this area, otherwise we might get caught. 
I wonder what that is. Hey, Pikachu, don't lean out so much. It's dangerous. Oh, come on. I want to see what it is. Oh, yeah. Just a bit more. Spin. Spin a rack. Just hanging around. Spin. Ah, what the? It was your thread that was bothering me. Pikachu, if we're not quiet, they'll find us. Spin, spin. What do you mean he's right? It was your fault in the first place. Sheesh. Hi ho, Morgan. You're up late too? What's up with this Pokemon? Spin. So there's something tasty on the first floor, so you snuck in to get some? Spin. I see the increase in security has made it more difficult for you to grab a snack, huh? Spin, spin. And you were hanging down to scope things out. Spin. You want to get down to the first floor, huh? Well, that's something we've got in common. Pikachu, if you keep talking, the workers will see you. I also vote Topless Stream. Why is everyone voting for Topless Stream? Hey Morgan, I mentioned Topless Stream and she shows up. Yeah, she's got an alert, I think, on her phone or something. There's like a spyware in the chat that detects if there's the word Topless in there, I think. Shirtless, Topless. Really should always be Topless. Uh, there's hardly anything worth seeing under there. <laughs> Muscles, I ain't got none. <laughs> There's nothing to see. Can you get to the floor above? Spin. So Spinarak managed to sneak in too. Yeah, but more importantly, I hope you're taking notes quickly before you forget. Look at them, I team. like Slender Guys. Well, yeah, I know you do. Up. I'll just see Topless really after stream. <laughs> right. So that's that. We know the first floor layout. I didn't see any way to get down to the first floor. Neither did I, although we did get some interesting information. Yeah, hmm, maybe it's time we changed our thinking if we can't get to the first floor. Maybe we should explore this floor a bit more. What else is there to see? Uh... Okay, that triggered something. Someone's coming. This way, Pikachu. Pen Sage. Looks like it's a Pokemon. Don't let it see us. Let's stay and watch what it does. It's too heavy for him. Pikachu, do you think it's okay to try and help it? Yeah, if it decides to cause trouble, we can handle it. Hey, you alright? Seems like a nice Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. What's all this? A lab coat. Hey, maybe you can let us know what's going on. Are you a Pokemon that works here? We have a few questions for you about the lab coat. I saw you had a lab coat in that basket. Do you know anything about the scientist? Pan Pan. Oh, is your partner? Pan Pan. Simon, that's your partner's name? Oh, and his clothes were starting to smell, so you washed them for him, huh? Such a dedicated Pokemon. Do you think this man in the photo is its partner? Probably. About the man wearing the lab coat. Is your partner the guy in this photo? Pan Pan. That's what I thought. What's Simon doing here anyway? Pen. Research? Well, that figures. If he is a scientist, do you know anything specific? He doesn't seem to enjoy his research since he came here. You're allowed to come and go as you please, but he hasn't been outside in months. How is that possible? Pen. A tough-looking guy is always watching? It means the factory manager, I guess. Hmm. So is Simon being forced to continue his research? It definitely seems that way, yeah. Pen. You don't like him because he's always rushing Simon to get stuff done, and he always looks so scary, huh? What is he trying to get Simon to do? He's forcing, forcing Simon to make something? They said something about cells? They must mean Mewtwo cells. Huh, but wait, in that case, what's up, Tim? We were told there are only two people in this world who could incubate Mewtwo cells. Dr. Walls himself and his lab assistant, so that must mean Passage's partner is... 
Walz's former assistant? Exactly. Hey, Pensich, did Simon ever work with an old man with a white beard? Pen! A long time ago they worked together? I knew it. Pen! He seemed to enjoy his work back then, huh? Don't worry, Pensage. We'll find out the secret of this factory and make sure you guys can go free. If there's anything you know about this place, we'd love to have the info. Pen! So the factory manager is scary, but the other workers aren't so bad, huh? Pen! They seem really happy when they see you, and they give you treats and stuff. Oh, then the security guards must have been talking about Pensage earlier. Get along with the workers. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they were talking about giving you treats and stuff. I think we're getting a good idea of what to do next. We need to get to Simon's room. You know where to go, right? It's at the far end of the first floor. We need to find Simon and hear what he can tell us about R, plus figure out a rescue plan. But how should we get down to the first floor? Good question. We do have just one little problem. It's heavily guarded. The second floor is too high. <laughs> it's heavily guarded. <laughs> That's right, they've got the place pretty well covered right now, but think of it this way. We only need to deal with the factory manager and the two guards to get through. I'm starting to think we can do this, so, as, so long as we have the right plan. Oh ho, you've got an idea then. How can we get down without being caught? Rush right in, get help from the Pokemon, give up and go home. <laughs> give up and go home. Come on, you're kidding, right? There's got to be a way. Yeah, I was kidding. Rush right in. Hey, now there's a difference between courage and recklessness. Do you really think we'd stand a chance against the factory manager if he caught us? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Let's get help from the Pokemon. That might just work. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Pensage would be happy to help us. And Spinarak wanted to get down to the first floor, so it might be willing to help too. Who else? Axel! Axelgore! Of course! Yeah, you're part of the team too. Axelgore's speed will definitely be a huge help. Let's figure out a way to get down there. Super speed. How can we sweet sneak down to the first floor? Okay. Mm, hey there, seems like you're having a rough time with the security here too. Spin! About the tasty treat. What exactly is this treat you keep going on about? Spin, spin. It's in the boxes my champ carry. It smells really good. Does it mean the food they make here? We were told it smells really bad. I think so. Well, to each its own, I guess. Do you just hang around like that all the time? Your thread must be really strong. Spin. It can even support the weight of a person. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Do you think it, you can pull me up? Spin, spin. Not for free. You want to treat in exchange. Well, aren't you opportunistic? Spin! Sturdy thread. Um. What, I'm supposed to talk, talk to this one? What am I supposed to do now? No! No! Where is the third one? Where did he go? I wanted to ask uh, Pikachu for advice. Nah, he's already d done that. Or maybe I have to look at the case notes. The room we need to get to on the first floor? It's in the back part of the building. So we'll have to decide who's gonna distract the guards. Well, the fast one. Lucky! Flip the switch for the conveyor belt. Uh, the one that they trust. Hmm. Interesting. You'd think that.
Actually, no. Hmm. Interesting you think that. I'll share the photo with you. We should take a nipple each. <laughs> a nipple each. What am I supposed to say to that? I dips really his left side. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, got it. Hand Sage will get the guard's attention. And during that, Excelgor will turn on the conveyor belt. While everyone is busy dealing with all of that, we'll use Spinarak string to make our way down to the room. That sounds like a great plan. We thought up a good strategy. Are you ready? We're counting on you. So, pen, spin. All right, let's do this. I also did the middle product. Okay. Ah. I want some of that too. <laughs> oh boy. It's hot enough in here without you you two making me feel a lot hotter. I dips first, you get seconds. Hurry up with the treat. I promise we're work, working on it. We'll get it to you, so be patient. I'm okay with that. Everyone is making plans. Okay. Here we are. Let's go. Huh? Pan, Pan, you really helped us out earlier. Our plan worked, thanks to you. They'll introduce us to Simon? Thanks. I get aftercare first because it's your turn. Duh. <laughs> Those be Mewtwo cells? What? How do you know about these? Who are you? Uh-oh. Oh no. The factory manager. We're working this case. Don't worry, we're on your side. On my side? Yo, doctor. Hope all is going well. It is almost time, you know. Of course, no problems. Aw, uh, don't look so sad, doc. This is the last shipment. And once it's done, you're free to go. I'll let you get back to work. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. So, did you mean it when you said you were on my side? And how did you know about the cells? Uh, sorry to have surprised you, we actually got the info from Walls. Dr. Walls, you mean the same Walls who was the first director of PCL? That's right. If he mentioned the cells to you, then that means he really trusted you. You said you were looking into the incidents? That's right, the reason we went to Walls is because we needed to know more about R. But it doesn't seem like you're a scientist. Why this interest in R? Well, my dad is a detective and he was investigating the incidents involving Pokemon, but he's gone missing now. Excuse me. And when we followed the information he'd left behind, it led us to R. Really, what have I said about concentrating during stream? All right, all right, all right. I'm not looking at my phone anymore. There, I'm putting it away. There, 
There we go. I can't see it anymore. You'd be doing me a favor if you solved this case too. About six months ago, a tall man brought me here and has had me making R ever since. That's terrible, but wasn't there some talk of you being freed soon? Apparently the factory will be moving soon. All I need to do is assist them until then. Not that I believe they'll really let me go, though. Even if they are telling the truth, R is not something that should exist in this world. I'm happy to help you out. There are cans of some sort of health food. Should take one to spin a rack. Sorry, Simon. Is it alright if we take one? Well, sure, but I can't imagine why you'd want one. Cans. Look, a microscope, huh? So that's what Mewtwo's cells look like. I wonder what's in it. Is this a machine they said was carried from the wharf? I don't know, this looks more like a tank than a machine to me. I wonder what's in it. Uh, wait, no, okay, I was examining the same thing. It looks like the container is in Wallace's lab. Huh? Wallace? Oh, I see his name come up in s I see his name come up in some publications. He's one of the top researchers in this field. It's a bed. Yeah, and judging by how it looks, Pantage couldn't get around to washing the blankets. Yeah, poor Pokemon, it's not a slave. Hold on a minute, Tim. Let's check things a bit more carefully. Well, things I'm done with, but it's talking to the people that I am not done with, I guess. Pan, about Simon. What, you don't care if you have to stay so long as Simon can go free? It really is a dedicated Pokemon. Don't worry, Pensage, we'll figure something out. Yes. Alright, ask me anything about Walls. He was the director of PCL when I first joined. Eventually, he started to let me help out with his old research. Even the explosion at PCL is half my fault, but the professor took full responsibility and left. I see. I wanted to follow him, but he wouldn't let me. Well, it seems like he was able to find a nice, quiet place to settle down in. That's good to hear. I had been worried about him ever since the accident. About Mewtwo cells. R is created using Mewtwo cells, right? Dr. Walls told us there was some mistake and they were used instead of Mew cells. Oh, I did end up finding machine a matching jumper. Set, nicotine addict, and the healthy organ gang. Perfect for us. <laughs> You said you wanted to tr to to quit nicotine. You said you were vaping because you want to try to stop. Dr. Wallace looked everywhere he could to get a hold of its cells and he must have been tricked by someone. Not everyone can be trusted, unfortunately. That's horrible. I regret it to this day. That's how we ended up creating the terrible substance known as R. Dr. Wallace told us that the effects of R were likely caused by Mewtwo's berserk gene. I lost my vape. I thought Lewis was giving you his. No? After you got him a new one, I thought you were you were getting his old one. Isn't that how it was supposed to go? Healthy organ. <laughs> what exactly is this berserk gene though? I lost it. Find it. <laughs> what exactly is this berserk gene, though? In order to explain that, I'll need to tell you more about the Pokemon Mewtwo. It's said that Mewtwo was created by recombining Mew's genes. He gave me it, and I lost it. Okay. I've got more than one healthy organ, Morgan. I hope. Healthy organ, Morgan. Organ, Morgan. Organ, Morgan. Okay, that I didn't mean to make it rhyme there. <laughs> Shout at me again, daddy! <laughs> Recombining, what do you mean? In order to make it extremely aggressive, seems like it was some sort of experiment to create a powerful Pokémon. That's horrible! Yeah, I agree. So this recombined gene is the Berserk gene. That's right, and because that gene was what we used, our became what it is now. Hmm, okay. Mm -mm -mm. About Harry. This is my dad in this photo. Have you seen him? It seems like he infiltrated this place about two months ago. I can't say that I have, sorry. Although two months ago is when the factory manager got very upset, saying R was stolen from the chemical storage area. 
That must have been my dad. Everyone here was frantically trying to find this intruder. Since then, they've really stepped up the security. Hey, Louis is sleeping. Tim. I'm the only Tim. one awake right now. <laughs> hey, Tim! Tim! Ah. Mm, this infiltration thing is hard work. Uh, I should eat to get more energy. No, that's all right. I'm good. Uh, hey, really, close. I'm good. <laughs> I love snore. Hey, Tim. Tim. No wonder Keith was after Harry. We found out. A l we found out a lot, but there was something he said that got my attention. About the creation of R. I know we heard it from Waltz too, but I still think this whole thing is ironic. They wanted to make the perfect medicine, but instead ended up with that awful substance. I bet even Mewtwo doesn't want its cells used like that. No kidding, Mewtwo, huh? Every time I hear that name, it makes me uneasy somehow. That's been happening a lot since we got here. I hope your memory comes back soon. E uh, exactly, the chemical storage area. That's where Harry got R. I wonder if that's where he got the photo of R too. You were in the photo too, weren't you? I must have been to this factory before. I've been feeling that way ever since we entered this place. I wonder if you remember anything we got if we go to the chemical storage area. I don't know about that, but we may find some clue about Harry. Let's ask Simon if to see if we can get into the storage area. Hmm? It's right above this room. Info on the R should be there too. It's probably locked but you can get it open with this key thank you very much but are you sure this is wise if they find out you're helping me don't worry about that if anything happens to me the production of R will stop completely so they can't really do much just be careful you're not caught of course oh and one more thing R that's in storage gets shipped out once we have enough depending on the timing the storage could be empty we'll have a look anyway you said this anyway we'll have a look anyway you said this was the last shipment, right? Where is it being shipped to? That I don't know, but I've got an idea about how we can find out. I'll start preparing for that, so just leave it to me. A key. Mm. I have to give it the snack it wanted. Alright, I'm a man of my word. Here you go. Spin, spin! God, the smell is enough to make me choke. Do you think you could wait on opening it and pull us up first? Alright, pull us up, thanks. What, it's a spider? It doesn't even ex exactly have a nose, I guess. They move the boxes. The chemical storage area should be just ahead. It's right above Simon's room. But we can't get through all this. I guess we don't have a choice. Come on, Tim. Let's get all this luggage. Let's get all this luggage out of the way. We need to make a path to the storage area. So think carefully as you move things. Um. Uh... It's a Sokoban clone. Well there. room is familiar. Mm. I'm getting really close to remembering something. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me instruct you on some detective tips. Ready? 
Detective tip number 48. A detective can never give up. If you don't give up, things will usually work out. Why the idealist? My body's getting stiff. Therefore, I do aerobics. It helps me relax and clears my head. Or hear me out. Climb off the railing and then pull yourself up to the box and hop over at the other side. <laughs> it would make more sense that way, wouldn't it? Tim, take a look at this. What is it? Our export plan? Pikachu, this is an outline for their plan. Seems like Keith is going to export R. But if R gets used all over the world, it'll be chaos. It'll be impossible to stop. First, let's figure out exactly what it is they plan to do. Let's read what it says. About the large-scale factory, Carlos should be close to completing his analysis of R. We will temporarily use the warehouse at Rhyme Wharf as our base, but our ultimate goal is to move the R production machinery overseas and establish a large-scale production facility there. Now we must find a wealthy pat patron who is com comfortable keeping secrets. I'm currently in the process of using my underground connections to establish contacts among upper-class citizens. Team Rocket? Once we manage to get those contacts, we should be able to use that network to reach out and expand our sales. It's even got the same initial as Rocket, so... The biggest problem we face is that R can only be produced using the machine under PCL. We must purchase a new production facility and establish a stable manufacturing system as soon as possible. We completed the purchase of the location a few days ago. The warehouse at Rhyme Wharf will be our first step in establishing a stable base of operations. Look Pikachu, there's some kind of document behind a box. What? It says R experimentation report. Good find Tim, this must be your report on R. Looks like Carlos is the author. It must be from before we went to PCL. Let's see what it says. R has different properties depending on whether it's in its, it is in its liquid or gas form. This allows it to be used in different ways depending on the situation. Both forms are nearly odorless. And only Pokemon with a very acute sense of smell have any chance of detecting it. The balloon used to cause the incident at the amusement park is the perfect example of R's properties as a gas. R is dispersed by popping the balloon. The dispersal radius is approximately 3 feet, which is sufficient for most needs. The best way to utilize R in its liquid form is to inject it into food. R's effects are amplified when the two types of liquids, red and green, are mixed together. In fact, the easiest way to gain the effects of R is to inject the red and green liquid separately into food. R's effects will be amplified for any Pokémon that consumes the food. What about Spinarak, then? If it isn't the food... Isn't it at risk? Here I will lay out potential future development of R. Currently R is transported using special vials. However, these vials break easily and also prevent efficient mixing of the liquid. We have begun working on a capsule form to counter these drawbacks. By storing R in a durable capsule device, my hope is to improve its portability while reducing the risk of damage. Additionally, I plan to incorporate a device that allows the two separated liquids to be mixed whenever the user chooses. In other words, the capsule device will allow a user to dive disperse the mixed R automatically with no restriction on place or time. Mm -hmm. There still exists a need to gather more experimental data and improve R. Currently, R has two major drawbacks. Its effects are temporary and it's impossible to communicate with the Pokémon under the influence of R. My plan is to continue research on R in order to develop a new version that will allow the power-enhancing effects to last an extended period of time while also allowing the Pokémon's partner to communicate with it. Lewis downloaded Bully. He wanted to play it after seeing you play it. Huh. What did he download it on? Xbox? It's on Xbox? Or I can't imagine, I think it was on Xbox 360 as well. Maybe you can download 360 games on Xbox One, if this is what he has. I like Bully. <laughs> it's Xbox, hmm. Yeah, I believe you should be able to download the, the 360 version on Xbox One, if this is the console that he has. 
Pokemon's partner to communicate with it, etc., etc., etc. Give you page. Okay, well. Talk about top secret documents. Keith is trying to develop art into an even. You can download 360 on the one. Yeah, that's what I thought. You did watch a few. You have it on PS5, Morgan. Huh. As a PS2 classic, or is it an HD version of some kind? Because I know it was on PS2, but not on PS3, as I recall. He's just finished the, Hall the Halloween heist. Ah, yeah, okay. And now we we know exactly what his plans are. Okay. That Keith, he's making preparations to export R. Yeah, weren't you? What? I think it's HD. Are oh, you think so? Oh, there may have been an HD release on PS4. Then I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think you watched a bit of the streams uh, as well, Morgan. No. When I was streaming Bully. Or do I have my wires crossed? We've got to stop Keith's plan. Let's let Mr. Baker and Inspector Holiday know immediately. I said Gary will turn on you. So now he's just beating Gary up every chance he gets. So he has the reason to turn. <laughs> well, Gary is a traitor. So yeah, you know. You know. Pikachu, what's wrong? You're curious about what's in the box. What's in the box? Come on! What's in the box? I did see some. Ah, okay. That's strange. Do you think it's a memory of when you came with Dad? I'm not sure. Do you think you could open it up? So what do you think this is? Hmm. I could swear that I've seen this Check thing your before. phone. Well, let's open it and see what's inside. Shouldn't we make sure it's safe before we... <laughs> But it's a video. This is why I didn't want you to open it yet. Pikachu. Pikachu. I'm missing everything in the game. Pikachu. 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 Uh, Pikachu. Oh yeah. I don't know, you should so perhaps ask uh Georgia if she's willing to send any. Oh, Tim, hi. Are you alright? Yeah, I don't get to I go I don't get to receive yeah. any nudes. But I'm such a poor dude. Some... You have no idea, Morgan. It seem I made quite the commitment. I wish, you see, but what do you mean? What did you promise and to who? Uh, brace yourself for a shock. It was Mewtwo. What? You mean that Mewtwo? The one who sells they used to make R? That's right. When in the world did you promise Mewtwo then? Well, you see, I promised to recover the Berserk gene and capture the mastermind of the whole R case. In my dream, I was pleading with Mewtwo to save Harry. My guess is it offered to help me if I was able to help it out first. But why would it rely on you to do such an important thing? I'll send Morganite them. <laughs> Why? Why not me? I'm a great detective. I bet you two heard of my reputation and decided that was trustworthy. I mean, I can't remember the details, but still. Something tells me you made that last bit up. <laughs> mm. No, this I already checked. Okay, so now what? Really hot top stream for the next milestone. <laughs> if you're willing to finance the hot tub, I don't know where I'll put it, but... I don't exactly have an outdoor area and there's not enough space in this apartment. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, please. <laughs> well, so far so good. Yeah. Tim, close the door now. What? Just close the door. Hurry! Hold it, pal. Hey, now, who are you? Uh oh, not good. <clears throat> Open this door. <clears throat> what should we do? He's gonna get us. I'll even purchase the speedos. Seems we're trapped, like a rattan in a cage. I know you're in there. Open up. <clears throat> are you ready? You gotta 
open up the door just as he tries to smash into it. Got it. Escape from the factory manager. Now's our chance. Lock him in. Pikachu, let's use that. You're done. I'm coming after you! Excelgore, distract him for us! Selgor! Oh yeah? You wanna fight? Selgor! You think they will be big enough? I mean, Rudy has the luck to fit in them. How would you know, huh? He did it. <sighs> you think this'll stop me? <laughs> well, apparently not. Where are you? I'm coming for you! Good luck with that. Tip, now's our chance. I have to keep paying attention to this. In fact, make it a G-string. Hey! When you stand up, we have a clear view of your junk. Yeah, I look! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, perfect. There's a container right here. Ah. Uh, at least, at least you two get me to smile. Thank you for that. Go on, get in. Really? Me too. Anyway. <laughs> the product being shipped today. Guys from the organization will take it, so that should get you right to their headquarters. I don't know. It's our only clue. We've got to take this chance. All right then. Please take this. We sure today. objectify Rudy, huh? Your notes on their plans. Great idea, Tim. We're counting on you, Excel Gore. Excel Gore. Hmm. Here they come. Hurry. All right. We gotta buy him some gray sweatpants. Come on, Pikachu. Gray sweatpants. But what about you? I'll be fine. Don't worry. Be super careful. Good luck to you both. Is there anything specific about gray sweatpants that makes uh, things better? <laughs> sweatpants with a tank top. Is that exactly sexy in a way that I am completely missing? Because I really don't see it. Hey, don't we need that container too? Nah, it doesn't have the mark. They highlight your junk more? Okay. Yep, we better get moving. Chief Norman is not a very patient guy. That's for sure. You got it? Yeah, I got Why it. Why the tank top, though? <laughs> Men in gray sweats, I can't help but look. Okay. Here, let me help you. Hey, stop treating me like a Pokemon. <sighs> Freedom at last. Is this some kind of storage space? It looks like a factory. I agree. But they Because you'd look like a bad boy. <laughs> think it's their base? Mm, I'm not sure if it's the Only base, look, Lo. We know Only the look. Containers with R in them were taken to him. Now what? We look for R, and then I'll bet you we find Keith. Sounds good to me. Let's get going. Hmm. Find out where R has been taken. Mm -hmm. Where did the containers go? Let's follow Ooh, the train. Ugh, really being a bad boy. <laughs> follow the people who are carrying it. Uh huh. I'm a stowaway. Judging from everything they have here, this must be a storage room of some kind. This doesn't look like it came from the factory. You're right, seems like they've got a lot of different stuff here. They must use these chains to hold the containers in place. This doesn't look like the box of R. It seems like all R has been moved out already. What's that? It seems like a schedule for inspection duty. What? It'll be a hassle if we're seen by someone that's not linger too long. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's an Alolan Ratata, isn't it? Yeah. Raised on a tropical island. Huh? It looks like a Ratata, but is it a different Pokemon? Ratata, your cry. I guess you are a Ratata after all. It has a more subdued coloring than usual, and its body shape is a little different too. Ratata, you're not sure? You got lost and ended up here after wandering around aimlessly? Ratata, the food where you were before was fresher, but you made a friend here, so it's the best. That's good, I guess. Ratata, you don't know? You were too busy talking to your friend to pay attention. Ratata, it's fun when you hang out together. Glad to hear you two get along. I'll behave myself now. Corner or door? Did I say I want you? I wanted you to go anywhere. <laughs> Did you hear me complaining, Morgan? Was I complaining? I don't think I was complaining. Iratata, do you think you could tell us about this place? Ratata, the best. It's that good. Ratata, ratata. Yes, master. <laughs> I see, you got a lot of food, and you've also made a good friend, huh? Huh? Wait, have we met you before? About the men with the luggage. What? You say they came through here? They headed up in that elevator we passed? We need to follow them. Let's hurry. The men with the large cases. Oh, I can't go that way. We just enjoy worshipping you. Oh. Let's be careful, Tim. Okay. Yeah. I enjoy the worshipping. You don't hear me complaining. What's this? Well, Morgan is. Is it some kind of resort? I'm just being Rudy's hoe. <laughs> uh. It's all right. I enjoyed the attention it's either way. Middle of the sea? I guess so. What else could it be? Uh, With all due respect, this is what's of course. A luxury cruise ship. It says Prime Treasure. You think they're using a cruise ship to smuggle stuff? By the looks of it, this is no good. If so, we need to find Keith and quickly. Right. I'll be the worshipper if that spot is open. Hey, Tim. Apparently, Tim. Georgia doesn't want it, so it's all yours. Tim. Tim. Hey, Tim. Tim. Peace and quiet. Hey, Tim. But... Tim. Hey, Tim. Tim. What? <laughs> Maybe someone saw the man carrying the container. Let's ask around on the deck. You can worship him, but I'm the one who's gonna be in bed with him tonight. Oh boy. What's going on? What's going on in this place? Yes, do you need me? About the luxury cruise ship. The passengers on this ship are very high profile, so the staff blah 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 luggage around until night time. Can I watch? <laughs> uh, until night time to avoid being a disturbance, but today I've seen men carrying things wandering around lately. They came through here? About the men with the luggage. I saw them pass by, they were heading toward the lounge. Our bestie already took that spot. <laughs> Who? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the no good whore. <laughs> Is her name. You see the two doors past the pillars there, right? Go through the one on the right and just go straight. Thank you very much. Men with the large case, number two. Fruit? About the luxury cruise ship. It's too big and confusing, you get lost. 
You get so lost that the drinks would cool off by the time you get to where you're going. And that's why you don't serve any hot beverages. It's big enough that you get lost even if you work here, huh? Tim! 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 We need to go in search of R. Let's head to the lounge. I'm not done talking to people. Don't, don't push me. About the luxury cruise ship. Chino, Chino. It's always super clean and fun to be here. Do you ride this ship off often? Chino. You've been on, on it a lot of times, even since you were a Minchino. Man, I'm jealous. What are they if they're not Minchino? Hmm, what can I do for you? About the luxury cruise ship. Cruise ship. My wife and I always come on board the ship when the carnival season gets near. This year's carnival is going to be great too. Men with luggage? No, I haven't seen them. They haven't come by this way. Can I help you? We always come on board the ship for the carnival. I bet you get a great view of the parade. That's true too, but this ship is a special place for us. You see, this is where my husband proposed to me. Even he even had a special bouquet of flowers for me. That sounds lovely. What kind of bouquet was it? You should ask my husband. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone like that come this way. May I help you? If there is any problem, please don't hesitate to let us know. Should you wish to use the pool, we have towels available as well. No, we're okay. Thank you very much. Men with luggage? No, sir. I haven't seen them. That's very strange, though. We usually only allow freight to be moved around at night when all of our customers have retired. Yes. This is my first time on the Prime Treasure. I plan to enjoy it as much as I can. He's uh, sunbathing with all of his clothes on. Adrian Monk. <laughs> I don't think I saw anyone like that. I was too busy enjoying the view of the sky. Mm, yes. Service is fantastic and the food here is also first class. I couldn't imagine using any other ship for traveling. So you've been on this ship a lot. I've been here and there. I still like Rhyme City though. It's a nice city. Was there someone like that? I didn't notice. Okay, about the man with the luggage. Oh. I get to go on the upper deck, I guess. Brian? Lapras is playing with you? Well, that's nice of it to do. Brio? What's that? You're part of the show that happens at this pool? Well, what kind of show is that? Brio? You create balloons that can fit in a, po a Pokemon inside? That's pretty impressive. I didn't realize he had that kind of talent. It uses Bubble Beam or something. Kerr? There's a show at the pool and you'll... You'll be performing too, huh? When is it gonna be? Do you ever sunbathe, Rudy? Can I rub sunblock on you? Oh my. Uh, actually, to be honest, no, I don't. I mean, if I had someone to put to rub sunblock on me, I might. I've got a good balcony for that right outside. I could. It's been pretty sunny lately, actually. Not warm enough yet to be sunbathing outside, though. I don't think I'll be able to watch. Well, good luck. You can rub the sunblock on him, Morganite. I'll be rubbing something else. That would be so fun! <laughs> what can I do for you? You can get a great view of the fireworks for the carnival from here. They don't start until the evening, but I couldn't wait, so I came early. Can't help you there. I guess they didn't come this way. Frill? It says we're if we're ordering drinks to go order from the Frillish on the first floor. I guess this one is handling some other kind of job here. Really deserves to be spoiled. Well, I do think so, but apparently that's not the general consensus, so I don't get spoiled too much. But I would certainly appreciate that, though. 
Sounds an awful lot like an excuse for slacking off to me. Frill, you've actually got a very important mission? I wonder what it means. It's gone quiet, must be a secret. I might marry this one and also have this wife to myself. <laughs> but that means divorcing Monica. <laughs> oh what, you want to marry Morgan now? Poor Monica. <laughs> the lounge is supposed to be straight ahead, right? Oh, okay. Wow, this is impressive. Everything is super luxurious. Ah, no. Was trying to get downstairs, but... Da, 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 da. I can't get upstairs either. Ah, so there, there, there only really was one way to go then. What's up? The lounge is so spacious, I love it. It's very relaxing. Oh, I may have just seen those people. They went up the stairs behind me. Morning, do you want to just, I don't know, sign this document? Nothing special, just a silly bit of paper that requests your autograph. About we'll to get married? Alright, let's head after them. Men with a large case, number three. I'll, I'll, I'll be taking all of Rudy's bitches. Welcome. Morgan never said she was that. She said she was a worshipper. <laughs> About this cafe, we have a variety of beverages as well as snacks and light meals. This frillish will deliver anything you order. They serve the lounge, but they will also bring your order to the deck or even to your room. Sounds neat. Get me a coffee, Tim. You're going to order something? We're in the middle of investigating. All right, all right. Once we find out where the stuff went, then. If you would like to order, please give an order sheet to a frillish with a tray. I can be both. You want to be my bitch? Oh. Is it hot in here or is it me? I'll be nice. You have have the no good whore back. She can be yours. No, I don't want her. She's not attractive. And she thinks all I deserve is a rubber doll for, to have sex with. And not an actual woman, so... No, no, nuh uh Hello, did you need something about the luxury cruise ship? I've been on cruises many times, but this one is a gift from my daughter. I'm enjoying it more than any trip I've ever been on. She must be a wonderful daughter to give you a cruise like this as a gift. I just love traveling by ship. I thought I'd be a good daughter for once and got tickets for me and my mother. The atmosphere is relaxing, the food is good, I can't imagine a more luxurious trip. Hey there, isn't this ship wonderful? It's the perfect place to spend time with my girlfriend. My boyfriend got tickets for me, it's my first cruise. It's a pretty impressive ship, I was quite surprised. Yes. It's an elegant experience, I love it. Uh-huh. So you want a bitch and not a wife? 
We mentioned the forbidden D word again, Rudy. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Hmm, did you need something? I come on board from time to time because Ninetales seems to enjoy it so much space. As a luxurious fur, Ninetales. About the luxury cruise ship. It says the house it normally lives in is similar, but the ship has more space, so it likes it better here. Okay. What a spoiled Pokemon. I wish they'd post these things a bit lower. What does it say? It's a deck plan, a map of the ship. It looks like we can use this elevator to go to different floors. This place is big enough as it is, and now you're telling me there are multiple floors? The bridge is on the top floor. I guess we can take this elevator then. Mm, I already spoke to him. Sandile. I know Krokorok. Ah, what? We're not allowed to go in? Oh, come on, don't be so uptight. All we want is a peek in the room. Wow, okay, okay, we'll leave, but can we ask you a quick question? Did you two guys carry. Did two guys carrying some luggage come through this way? Proko. They went inside, so then the arm must be past that door. Croc. Croco. Get out of here. Alright, alright. Come on, Tim. Let's get out of here for now. Speaking of wives, I need to check on the few I've been Rocka, neglecting. Rocka. <laughs> Rocka guards are trouble. Like a certain uh, one who shows herself, who That's shows her boobs to, to you. Also, Morgan, you are wife number 16. Really great detective will always keep his gear in excellent condition. <sighs> Whoops. A cafe. A pool. The grand hole. And the bridge. Hmm. I guess I haven't been to the Grand Hall, or un unless it was the one at the back there. Hey, I'm dear. just that hot. I'm drowning in bitches. Amelia. Yeah, contrary to me. Here? I'm here for work. Apparently, watching the parade from this ship is popular among celebrities. But what brought you guys here? We're still on the trail of Keith. The clues led us here. Huh? But what would Keith have to do with this cruise? We don't know for sure. But he must be on the ship at least. We do know that he's smuggling R. Oh no! If that stuff gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster! You've gotta let me help you find Keith, alright? Uh, I appreciate that. Why is she always uh, there, by the way? Since I'm a reporter. You sure she's not a bad guy? Right. I'll be your bitch any yeah. day, Rudy. <laughs> could probably use her help. Pikachu. I'd rather not get her involved in this either, but we could use some help. Okay. We're counting on you, Amelia. You're searching for Keith, right? Is there anything you want to know? About the luxury cruise ship. You can have him. Only some of the time, you said, Georgia. This is one of the most luxurious ships in the world, the SS Prime Treasure. I would never have expected them to use this ship for smuggling. Do you know where the ship is headed? I don't, sorry. The ship apparently travels all over the world and destinations are decided by requests from passengers. How did you get on board, Tim? 
We infiltrated the R factory and snuck into one of the containers they were shipping out. They carried us on board just like that. I'm starting to get the feeling that she is uh, one of the bad guys. She's always around when there's trouble. I'll pick him back up in 15. I need to call the wife that shows me her tits. <laughs> Which one is this, uh, Georgia, by the way? <laughs> the one that shows you her tits? How could you do something so reckless? I'm glad you're safe anyway. About the room guarded by Krokorok. Ah, Lucy. Ah, so she's the one I saw uh, in picture then. Okay. Duly noted. I like to be informed, you know? Stay on top of things. The room at the back on the second floor. I didn't even notice it. Is that where they've taken R? Yes, but it's guarded by Krokorok and we can't get in. It's wonderful that you were able to find out where R was going. But the room is guarded? Let's see. Is this the Krokorok you mentioned? Yes, that's exactly the Pokemon we saw. I didn't know you had a Pokedex, Emilia. This is actually a collection of my own notes. I write down anything that might be useful whenever I get a chance to see one of the various Pokedexes. Wait, you made all this by hand? Pretty impressive, Emilia. We also face time while we both take a bath together. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pikachu will be at a disadvantage in battle. Oh well, that's too bad. But we might be able to find out a little about what the room will be used for. There's a cruise newspaper. It has a schedule of all the events that occur on the ship. Ship's newspaper. That might be helpful. Let's have a look. Let's see. The event in that room is the Prime Treasure Show. That's an impressive name. What kind of show is it? Mako and I are working separately this time. I'm in charge of covering the ship. I'm mostly done, though. The only thing left is an interview. An interview? With who? First, we'll interview the famous chef, Mr. Gino Farina. What? You mean THE Gino Farina? You know him, Pikachu? Of course I do. He's a renowned chef. He has a restaurant in Rhyme City, too. But it's so popular, you can't even ever get a, res a reservation. Anyways, really, I'll pick you back up in 15. You be a good boy for Mummy Morganite. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, you can ask Morganite how I behaved while you were gone, then. <laughs> you get back. <laughs> Apparently, he's a friend of Mr. Graham's. That's why we've been able to get a special interview with him. So, is Mr. Graham on board as well? Yes, he was kind enough to come with me. About the show. I wonder what kind of show it is. I don't know anything about it. Sorry. No problem. Thanks to you, we know the name of the show now. I'll ask around to see if anyone knows about it. Good luck. Once I finish the interview, I'll try and find out what I can about the show. I'd appreciate that. I guess I'll see you around then. Once we finish up what we need to do, let's meet up here. Oh, and you should use this. It's an order sheet for drinks. If you hand it to the Frillish, they'll bring what you ordered. Order sheet. I think it's best if the two of you take a break, even if it's just for a little bit. Thank you very much. That's a lifesaver! Once we're done gathering testimony, let's go get some coffee, Tim. Find out about the show. The best clue we have so far is the show that's supposed to be held in that room. Let's find out more about it. Hmm. Hey, Tim! Tim! Let's ask around about the show in this lounge. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh, yes, that show. My girlfriend wanted to see it, so I tried to get tickets when I booked our reservation. Even then, we didn't manage to get seats. If anyone would be willing to part with their ticket, I'd pay anything they asked. Do you need something? I told my boyfriend I wanted to see it, but he couldn't get tickets. Somehow knowing I can't see it makes me want to see it even more. Did you need me? Oh, there's a show like that on the ship. I didn't know. Can I help you? 
It must be quite the show, especially since it has the ship's name as part of the title. I'd love to see it. Maybe I should ask my daughter. I don't know anything about that. I'm really not interested in events or anything. Okay. Uh, no one on this side. Um. Do we have tickets? Croc? No tickets, no entry? What are the tickets? these tickets you're going on about? We need to look spiffy if we want to get in. What do you mean? Croc. Huh? Shut up and go away. Fine. Frill? Frill? About the luxury cruise ship. Oh, you're in charge of serving the lounge, including the second floor alone? That sounds rough. Frill. It makes it more rewarding. Huh, that's a good attitude to have. No, I can't interrogate the lady. Oh. <laughs> I don't get the lady. Welcome. Welcome. About the show. It seems to be a show that's almost a tradition on this ship. Customers complain or of not getting seats, but I've never heard anyone say they've seen it. Hey, Tep. I don't think there's anyone here who's been to the Prime Treasure Show. Let's go talk to people on the deck. We can leave through the exit facing the cafe. Tem. Who would have thought that we'd run into Amelia on this ship? You know what? That's called destiny. I call it suspicious. Don't be ridiculous. What are you panicking about? It's nothing to do with you. It's just me and Amelia. Uh huh. He wants to do Amelia. Give her a little shock. Here and there. Wow, the lucky girl. Hmm. <laughs> ah, tonight's been fun. <laughs> do you need me? Uh, luxury cruise ship. Seems like they finished bringing the light bringing in the luggage. I wonder what that was all about. The prime treasure show? I didn't realize this ship had anything like that. Sorry, I don't know much about it though. I'm not really interested in the events here. Now nah, it's really the people I have to ask, I guess. Aren't you hot dressed like that? I was told there was a special selection process and that plebeians couldn't get on board, but maybe they were mistaken. You managed to get on after all. Fuck you! <laughs> what, you want some trouble or something? Pikachu, calm down. About the show. I asked Chinchino, the one at the back. Okay. And not Minchino. You m oh, you mean that show? No, I don't know anything. About the Chinchino. Are the Chinchino behind you your partners? Oh, yes, they are. I'm glad you could tell. Aren't they adorable? We've even won some Pokemon contests before. Their fur is so fluffy and glossy. Huh? What? Do you have a problem with my fur or something, Tim? I didn't say anything. Hmm? Can't say I've heard of it. I'm not a big fan of shows, to be honest. Having to sit still and just watch, it just isn't my thing. About the bouquet. Huh? My bouquet? Oh, did my wife tell you about it? Man. Well, you see, the bouquet is actually the fireworks. There's a large fireworks display before the parade at night, and so, you know, I call them my bouquet for her. Oh, I see. That sounds romantic. I somehow didn't think you'd know much about romance, Tim. Can I help you? About the show. I hear it's a show you can only see on this ship. I admit I'm curious, but they say tickets are impossible to come by. I've never really tried to get one. About the luxury cruise ship. I'm looking forward to the fireworks this year. You can get a great view from the ship. Can I help you? About the show. I hear the tickets are completely sold out. We do have many other events planned on, the, on board the ship. So I might suggest enjoying those instead. Frill? Yes. The Prime Treasure Show? Uh, I didn't know they had a show like that. 
How are they sold out if nobody knows about it? I'd love to see it, they say. Yes. Definitely a flashy name, don't you think? I've seen the name mentioned in the ship's newspaper, but I don't know what kind of show it is. Yeah, it's like nobody knows about it. So there isn't anyone here who saw the show either, huh? It's also weird that nobody is able to get tickets. This is going to take some thinking. Let's get ourselves some coffee. We've, we've got an order sheet here, so let's try and find the frillish. Well, it's the one in the Great Hall that I have to give the, the thing to. Hold on a minute, Tim. There's still something we should look into. What? Fruit? I have to place my order here? Okay. You'll take our orders? I'm getting coffee, Tim. Tim! I'm getting coffee, Tim. Black, naturally. Got it. I'll write that down. Now, what should I have? Iced coffee, iced tea, cherry berry juice, citrus berry juice. I'll have iced tea. It says to write how much sugar we want. It depends how tall are the glasses. Like the one on, on there. Just one should be enough. We just need to select the number of each drink. One of each, right? Once you've got it down, hand the order sheet to Frillish. Yeah. Phew, much better. Sometimes a nice coffee is just a thing. Yeah, I'd forgotten in all the excitement, but we haven't eaten anything since we snuck into that factory. Yeah, detectives gotta be tough, but seriously, iced tea? We're about to face off against Keith. You need to be more hard-boiled. Can I please just drink what I want? Keith sure has some nerve planning to smuggle R on a luxury cruise like this. Yeah, that hole has got to be hiding something. I mean, nobody's seen the show at all. It's almost certain that they've carried R into the hole, but we need more information. I don't think taking people is going, talking to people is going to get us anything new, though. We should meet up with Amelia. I agree. She might be done with her work. That's that then. Let's head back to the lounge. Gina? Why does Chinchino keep looking at me? Gina? Is there something stuck on me? from this room excuse me hello is everything okay rose milton a fluent elderly woman i'm sorry about that a strange thing was in my bag sorry to make such a scene but it frightened me huh could i ask you to take a look yes of course Hmm. What in the world? Uh, a mask. Morgan hasn't been very active in the chat up till now, so I don't know. <laughs> Ask her. some sort of prank. There's not been much going on, Georgia. I was I was Lucy, by the way. <laughs> How was her chest? <laughs> snubble, snubble. Knock it off, Pikachu. Yeah, sorry. I guess it really was scared. This is a real mystery, which means a job for us. Yes. I'm glad a kind young man like you was close by. My name is Rose, Rose Milton. Depressed, bless. Bless her, she's going through an awful time right now. Oh. Well, I don't know if I should feel too sorry if she thinks that all men are trash. My name's Tim, and this is my partner, Pikachu. About the suitcase. I use it for traveling. I had it all of my clothing and personal... It had all of my clothing and personal items. When was the last time you opened it? Just this morning before I got on the ship. And did you have the suitcase with you the whole time? 
No, I had checked it with the ship's staff. Once I got on board, I collected it at the front desk, and Snubble here helped carry it to my room. I wanted to get my favorite lap blanket out, but when I opened the suitcase, it had that mask inside. Where could my suitcase have gone? About the mask. I've never seen anything like it. It's rather unsettling. There must have been a mistake somewhere. The more I look at it, the stranger this mask seems. Who could have brought a mask like this onto the ship? It's a gentle, sensitive darling. Yes, Noble. I think the mask give it quite a scare. He's currently moving out, but she didn't want to do... She's currently moving out, but she didn't want to do it. She's just a complete mess because she's being forced out. Uh, moving out from where? Her parents? Where she lived by herself? Uh, how does that work? It's fine, you'll be friends with Snubble, won't you, Pikachu? Of course. And no more pranks like that, okay? I'm sorry, okay? Believe it or not, I do feel bad. <laughs> Is this your family, Mrs. Milton? Her rich London apartment? Rich? And why does she have to leave, then? Is this your family, Miss Milton? Oh, yes, that's a picture of my husband back when we were young. This was his favorite jacket. He would always wear it for special occasions and outings. Hey, that necktie looks great on him, too. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm supposed to finish looking around. Snubble. Sorry about earlier, I was just kidding around. It's still pretty scared, let's leave it be until it calms down a bit. Should I FT? That's a strange mask, is it an antique or something? Does it really look that valuable to you? Seems like a piece of junk to me. Mask. Mm. The only thing in the suitcase was the mask. Nothing that might help us find the original owner. Must have been some slip-up with the, with the bags. Someone grabbed the, the wrong suitcase. It's not my place to say, unfortunately. And yeah, Rich, she even had her own doorstop man who opened the door for her and took her mail and all that shit. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't pry anyway. I mean, I don't even know her, so... It's private, after all. Miss Milton, we should have one of the crew check around for your suitcase. I think it must have been accidentally swapped with someone else's. Yes, you're probably right. I'll let the captain know immediately. Wait, the captain? Oh, he's a friend of mine. I'll go look for him. Here, let me come along too. I'll carry the suitcase. Oh, thank you, dear. You really are kind. Maybe we should go to the lounge first. Uh, Ma'am, I'm way, way, way too, uh, too young for you. Yes. Let's get going. She is moving to a richer part of town. She's renting out an apartment for three k a month. The Henri brothers are truly brilliant. Their meals were loved by Pokemon and people. You I couldn't me. afford that, I can I'm tell you. Recreating one of their recipes. You mean the famous lost recipe? How is that possible? <laughs> That's a trade secret. I figured as much. That's it for the interview. Thank you. She so owns her own time. store and everything, oh, and she's only 23. Especially if you're impressive. The interview. Oh my goodness! There you are, Captain Eckhart. Hmm. Well, hello there, Miss Rose. How can I help you? This may sound odd, but I'm afraid my bag has been swapped with someone else's. Look at this. I don't recognize any of the contents. I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll look into it. I really appreciate <sighs> it. Tim, hello. Mm, another mystery for you? No, not really. You know, I think I've seen this map. Isn't this news. part of a Pokemon? Except that it was stolen. What? Stolen? Impossible. An Egyptian ghost Pokemon of some kind. 
There's an awful lot of strange things going on on this ship. Well then, Miss Rose, we'll hold on to this suitcase for now. We'll let you know as soon as we find out anything about it. Yes, please do. Thank you for your help too, Mr. Goodman. I'll be at the bridge, so please stop by should you need anything. You know what a bridge is, right? It's where they control the ship. You can reach the bridge by the elevator in the second floor of the lounge. Well then, Mr. Graham, I'll see you again when we have our interview. I think I'll head back to my room too. Thank you for everything, Tim. Please stop by if you have time. I'd love your company. Then again, she has generational wealth. Ah. That certainly helps. Ah. Emilia has told me everything. I'm happy to give my support. Thank you, sir. Good luck with everything. I'd very much like an interview with you once you've crack this R case though, the ratings should be amazing. Does he ever think of anything besides ratings? Well, the interview with the captain is next. About the interview with the captain. You have an interview with the captain too? We figured the captain of a ship like this would be worth talking to. I bet he has a lot of very famous friends. But I didn't expect there to be a mystery about the suitcase. I think this is going to be a very interesting interview. I should thank you, Tim. Oh no, that's okay. Who'd have thought it was the stolen mask? Who on earth brought it on board? The case you're following is very interesting, but I admit this case is also intriguing. I agree, but somehow hearing this guy say it annoys me. Calm down, Pikachu. We've known each other for a long time. We featured, featured him on one of our shows back when we, he was just getting started as a chef. He agreed to the interview specifically as a favor to me, actually. The Prime Treasure Show? I don't know anything about it. Why not check with Captain Eckhart, though? The captain should know everything that happens aboard this ship. That's a good idea. I'll check with him. Let me know if you think it'll make a good TV show. Does this guy ever let up? Still asking the captain is a good idea. Yeah, I suppose so. Ah, but I didn't mean to talk to the guy again. This guy. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Gino. You know Mr. Graham, correct? I've had the pleasure of meeting him. About the interview. Mr. Graham asked if I could participate in an interview, so I was doing my best to oblige. I take it you were talking about cooking. Oh, we discussed a lot of different things. How to spend time on luxury cruise liners. How to best enjoy the Pokemon Carnival, about running restaurants, and about the future of food and cooking. Wow, that's quite a range of topics. Excuse me, we went via Discord, not a shocker, but she said that she likes having me as a friend as I don't take granted of her and her money, unlike all her fake friends who just used her. Then again, I've always been poor, I've managed this far without money, so I have no reason to ask for it. Yeah. I mean, it's usually best, I suppose, in that kind of situation to have friends who, well, are not with you b because they already knew that you were rich to begin with. I mean, if I was, I wouldn't want people to even know that I am, you know, because people get fake usually when they when they know that you have wealth to your name. I still can't believe a crime could be committed on an elegant ship like this. I've never even seen a mask like that, though. I wonder if it really was a stolen item. She did buy me a turtle teddy for my Christmas. Oh, That's cool. That's cute. I know there's so much we don't know. Whatever it is, I'm glad the captain has it. He'll keep it safe. About the show. I hear it's quite popular. I'd like to see it myself just to witness firsthand what draws so many people to it. Okay. I hope you can find the suitcase for Miss Milton. Once I'm done with my interview, I'll try and help your investigation. Mr. Graham has already given me permission. Thank you. Any luck with the investigation? Were you able to find out anything about the show? Well, the thing is, we found out that we can't find anything specific. What do you mean? There were a lot of people saying they couldn't get tickets, and the natural amount, really. I've told Mr. Graham I'll be helping investigate R. He says GNN is happy to help in any way. Thanks, I appreciate it. 
Oh, but he said in exchange he wants an interview with you once the case is solved. I should have guessed. He wouldn't miss out on this opportunity. What exactly was mentioned about it in the news you saw? They were saying it had been stolen from an art museum. I think it was about three months ago. It was a big deal since the mask is apparently pretty very valuable. I wonder if that was the real thing. If it is, what is it doing here? Keith isn't the only bad guy out there. It's possible that the thief brought the mask here with the hope of selling it to someone. About the interview with the captain. She's also a joker. When me and Lewis was having bedroom problems, she showed me her Amazon cart with a dildo in it. Addressed to me, she said, if things don't change, this will give you your needs. <laughs> well, if she thinks that all men are trash, I mean, I'm not surprised that she would send you this sort of thing. So you'll be conducting the interview. Yes, although Mr. Graham seems to want to ask about the incident, it's still on your mind too, isn't it? The case still hasn't been solved. I'm going to go ahead and ask about the parade like I'd planned, but Gina was interested in the mask, so he'll be coming with us to the bridge. Tim! 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 I admit I was surprised to find out the mask was a stolen item, but let's leave the suitcases to the captain. We need to find out about that show. Let's go ask the captain about that. For that, we need to get to the bridge. Let's go to the second floor for starters. Through? Hold on, Tim. Since we finally have some nice coffee, when we have some time, we should head to the deck and enjoy the view of the ocean while we drink it. Sure, it sounds good. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's a crew member. Let's ask where can we find the elevators. They're right in front of us, aren't they? Excuse me. Could you tell us where the elevators are? We're trying to get to the bridge. You can get to the bridge by using the elevators here in front of us. This floor has elevators on its left and right sides, but either one will get you there. Thank you. What is it? Can I help you, Mr. Goodman? There's something I'd like to ask you, and what might that be? About the show. Do you know anything about the Prime Treasure Show? We'd love to know more about what kind of show it is, but we can't get tickets. I'm really sorry, but I don't know much about the shows myself, even though you're the captain. Sorry to not be more help. All the shows are planned by the committee. What do you mean? You see, this ship is a little unusual. The passengers are actually the owners. All the rooms are privately owned and everything from the events on board to the next destination are decided by a committee run by the passengers. So the passengers have more power than the captain. I don't know anything about what shows might be planned. All of that's run by the committee, as I said. I see. Well, thank you very much. We're still trying to find Miss Rose's suitcase. We're also in the process of notifying every department about the mask. I hope every suitcase ends up where it should be. Where where are you keeping that suitcase now? In front of Nose Pass. Nose Pass seems to have taken a shine to it. She has a point. She dates rich guys who either stand her up or fuck her and dump her as she has little money. And if she dates broke guys, they just use her. She has the wealth but lacks the love. It's the reason why we both get on so well. We have the thing each of us is missing. Hmm. Also interested in that show. When I had a good look through the suitcase, I found a strange note. What? Let's see. The Prime Treasure Show Ice Tea. The usual frillish umbrellas and yellow deck chairs. What does that mean? Is it some kind of code? Those are some random words. I've written them down anyway, though. Actually, Tim, there was something else besides that note, a ticket. I don't know what to, what it's a ticket for, though. Note. She also has a flat ass that I defo clap. I mean, what? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to know that I'm trash, then. Since I'm a guy... There's a ticket in here. It doesn't say for what event, but it has today's date on it. I wonder what the ticket is for. Yeah, a ticket. That was a bizarre note in the suitcase. I wonder if it's related to the mask in some way. It could be some kind of secret code that lets you get into the show. We still don't know what kind of show it is, but we might be able to find out more if we follow what the note says. Hmm. 
There was one thing on the note we can start investigating immediately, right? Uh, the usual frillish. Umbrellas and yellow deck chairs. We did see them around the pool, but I didn't notice anything unusual about them. Isn't there something else that got your attention on the note? Iced tea? The usual frillish? We might be able to figure out the code on the note if we talk to the frillish. Hopefully it will lead us to the show. Ho Let's go find the frillish and see what they can tell us. Is it the one that was slacking off? Maybe? No spas. Nose! Nose. Are you the captain's partner? No snows. Well, no, all guys are trash, so that includes me. What's that? We should go in front of you if we want to talk. No spa. You can only face north. Oh, you're a little weird, but we can move to be in front of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit weird. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, so I guess it really does always be <laughs> Okay. That's a bit weird. Its nose is magnetic. You ain't trash to me, I just want to love and cherish you. Well, thank you. I mean, I don't think I've ever done anything to deserve being called trash, so... It does hurt a little. Oh, hey, Tim. Emilia, Miss, Mr. Graham. Welcome back. We were just talking about you. Did you find out anything about the show? Well, even the captain didn't know anything about it, but we did manage to get some new information. The suitcase had a note in it. It had a few things written on it, but one of the things was the Prime Treasure Show. I don't trust the old man, so you shouldn't be talking, discussing these things in front of him, I think. That's quite a scoop, Tim. A stolen mask and a mysterious show. This whole suitcase incident is just full of surprises. He's totally planning to make it part of the program. Is that all he ever thinks about? So, are you going to investigate what was in the note now? I'm going to try and find out more about what was written on it. Yeah, okie dokie, Georgia. I keep trying to find out more about this mysterious show. Mm-hmm. I think the usual frillish must be the one on the deck. Uh, wait a sec. Looking for the door. Frill? Mm, about the usual frillish. I see, so you don't know what it means either? I don't think this is the usual frillish mentioned in the note. Let's go talk to the other ones. I get it, I get it. No need to get so agitated. What's wrong? It's saying that the frillish on the second floor of the deck is always slacking off. But that's what I, th I was thinking. Yeah, this one was uh, quite suspicious. Frill? Place order. Frill? Oh, I see. Apparently, it's not accepting drink orders. I guess we should ask another frillish. Frill? Doesn't ring a bell? Well, thanks anyway. Frill? You don't have much time to speak with the other frillish. Sure looks like you have a lot of time to me. Frill? Keeping still is part of your job. You need to be ready to go all out at a moment's notice. It seems pretty proud of itself. Oh, it looks all sharp and serious, too. What's the deal with this frillish? Okay. So that's not the one. Uh, wait a sec. Is it the one on this deck, then? Frill? You'll take our orders? I'm getting coffee, Tim. Black and... Okay. Well, I already had iced tea before, so... It says to write how much sugar we want. Ah, wait a sec. Is that something about the sugar? You don't know, huh? But you did run into an unusual customer, what do you mean? He was trying to order something that wasn't on the menu and he was so persistent that you had to chase him away? What was he trying to order? You don't know, he said he wanted a book? Trying to order a book? Whoever it was making that mysterious order could be the, the owner of the suitcase. 
It's worth looking into anyway. Hey Frillish, what was this guy like? He was lying around as if he owned the place and he was blue. Maybe he was wearing blue clothing. Let's have a look around. Strange man. Blue clothing. He said the Frillish on the second floor actually did some work today for once. You're glad to see it finally take some pride in its work, huh? It must be a real slacker. If just doing its job is enough to impress its co-workers. Okay. Okay, Georgia. <laughs> Excuse me, people. My phone is extremely slow. Okay, sorry about that. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Hmm? Didn't you just order something unusual from Frillish? Oh, you saw that. How embarrassing. I was trying to order a book. You can order books from Frillish too? Well, I thought you could, but it looks like I was wrong. Frillish wouldn't take my order, so I gave up in the end. Why did you try to order a book from Frillish? This is actually my first time on this ship, and I'm just trying to blend in with the people around me. So I saw someone getting a book from Frillish, so I figured that must be how all these high-class folks pass the time by the pool. Just thought I'd give it a try, too. About the Frillish carrying the book. Do you know which Frillish was the one carrying that book? To be honest, old Frillish looked the same to me. How about who received the book from the Frillish? I can tell you, it was that lady on the deck chair across from here, the one with the chinchino. Thank you very much. Let's go talk to that lady. Uh-huh. Can I help you? About the book from Frillish. Did I order a book from Frillish? No. Ordering a book from Frillish, I've never heard of such a thing. Well, we spoke to someone who saw. I said I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps whoever you spoke to was mistaken about what they think they saw. Playing innocent, huh? I don't think we'll get any answers out of her. But that doesn't mean we're out of options. Let's talk to the Chinchino. Did your partner receive a book from Frillish? She did, huh? I knew we could trust these Pokemon. Let's hear what they have to say. Received a book. Which Frillish was it? The one with sharp features? Oh, the Frillish on the second floor. That's the one that brought the book, huh? Thanks. Sharp features. You didn't notice? You need to work on your observation skills if you want to be a detective. They all have different features. Do they, really? Chino. Oh, the view was great from the second floor, so you went up there and got to look down from the edge of the second floor deck before your partner met with Frillish? Huh, that must mean something. About their partner on the second floor? Was your partner acting funny when she was looking down from up there? You don't know, huh? You were just playing a game of counting everything down on the first floor with her. Mm, okay, thanks for the info. So 
So I guess I have to get back. Frill? Okay, so you are. Do you think you could bring me one? Frill. You will if we order it properly? What do you mean? I'm ordering it right now. It's no use. What are we supposed to do? All it says is do it properly. Don't think it's going to tell us. Maybe there's some specific way to order it. If we're going to place an order, do it properly. We'd love to, but you haven't told us what you, have, you even mean by that. You can't tell us. Well, great. This is getting us nowhere. I'm off to go. Light a fat, I mean sig. Yeah, it's uh, the forbidden word on Twitch. <laughs> okay, Georgia. I might not be streaming for much longer because I am getting uh, sleepy and two hours is enough, I guess, for a late night stream like this one. I'd very much like to solve that uh, conundrum before I go, though. Hey, Tim. Tim. It seems like there's a specific way to, we're supposed to order. Maybe that's something to do with that. What was written in that note? Remember that Chinchino told us its partner was counting something. Why don't we put all the information we have together? If we place an order with the Frillish on the second floor, they'll bring us a book, apparently. If you didn't know what it was, people would think I'm off There's around setting gay people on fire. Yeah, but order. that's not what she means. I don't suppose you found any hints. Just saying. Note, did you? Well, the note. Now, why do you think that? No, that's not it. I mean, setting people on fire in general is tempting. No, that's not right. Why do you think that? Counting those umbrellas and chairs? You're right! She was the one who got the book! She was super busy counting something. What was it? Now I remember. Umbrellas, umbrellas and chairs! And yellow deck chairs. The number of umbrellas and the chairs. Now that's two different numbers. Can you think of anything related to this? <clears throat> Uh... Now I get it. Here's the explanation. The two numbers stand for the number of teas and sugar cubes we order from Frillish. Mm. At least that mystery is solved. Let's go place our order. Well, we need to determine the numbers first, I guess. Let's go find the spot where we can look down on the whole first floor. Didn't the, did Chinchino say that they looked down on the first floor from the end of the second floor deck? That would be here, right? Where this guy is? There was someone like that here a minute ago. She was standing right there looking down at something. By that railing? You can see the whole first floor from there. Yeah, okay. We got a great view of the first floor from here. We need to count the umbrellas and the yellow deck chairs, right? We should remember to check both the left and the right side so we can count. How many umbrellas? Three. Four, five, six. And I see one, two. Is that yellow? Five yellow deck chairs on the right side. Plus two, that's seven. And three and three. Six umbrellas and seven yellow deck chairs. Six sugar cubes and seven cups of iced tea. Finally figured out how to order. 
Then prove it. I asked for it. First thing is the proper type of drink. Iced tea. Next we order the sugar cubes. How many do we want? Alright, now how many drinks do we want? Seven. That's it, Tim. Give Frillish the order sheet. Okay, it brought us a book. We did it. Here it is. Auctions catalog. It looks more of a... It looks like more of a menu than a book. Let's see what's in it. Prime treasure auction information. Please be sure to have your ticket with you. The dress code is semi-formal. Well, don't tell me you don't know what dress code means. It's basically telling us how we're supposed to dress up. So for this auction, we won't be able to get in unless we're wearing a suit and tie. And wait, auction? That's what it says, yeah. So there wasn't going to be a show in that room at all. It's an auction. Look, it says this is the lineup for the auction. Detective Scape. Henry Brothers Recipe Book. Mask of Antiquity. Isn't that mask the one we were just looking at? The owner of that suitcase must have intended to put the mask up for a bid, but the mask is a stolen item. This is no ordinary auction, it's almost like a black market. Tim, take a look, car is on this list too. You're right, it's on the list of items for sale. And it looks like whoever wins the bid gets exclusive buying rights for 6 months. We can't let that happen, we've got to stop them, we need to find a way to sneak into the auction, but how? I wouldn't worry too much about that, I think we'll be able to walk right in. It's said to have your tickets with you, and the dress code is semi-formal, right? What are you saying? All we need to do is meet the conditions. We'll worry about the dress code later, but there was that weird ticket in the suitcase. That must be a ticket for the secret auction. Let's go to the bridge and take a closer look at it. It looks like there's no show in that room. It's a secret auction where they sell everything, even stolen goods. So now I'm curious if Keith is planning on attending. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to the bridge. I'll check to see if it saves automatically when I get there, and that would be a good spot to stop the game for tonight, I think. Okay, Georgia. Excuse me. Ah, uh, wait a sec. Oh, hello, Tim. Is there a problem? Well, yes. You see, the mask has gone missing. Huh? I took my eyes off it for a moment. And it disappeared. So, do you think it was stolen? No. The only ones in the room were me and Nose Pass. Nobody else came The in. ticket is gone from the... What could have happened? From the case uh, as well. Let's ask Nose Pass. Hey, did you see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Nose Bar. No Nose Bar. It disappeared in just the blink of an eye. How could that be? Nose Bar. You say that's the truth, huh? But it's a Pokemon, I think. So it's a closed room robbery. Is there, isn't there an Egyptian ghost type Pokemon? Ah, it's saving. Okay, solve the theft. The theft. Okay. Well, that'll be a good spot to stop for today then. Uh, ghost type Egyptian Pokemon. Um, well, I guess it's not so much a mask, it's a sarcophagus, uh, the one that's in the game. What's the name of that Pokemon again? I'd like to know. can find photos, but it doesn't say the name. List of ghost type moves. I'm not interested in that. I just wanted to know the name of the Pokemon itself. Cofaglius or something like that? No. Cofagrigus? All ghost type Pokemon names. Da. Ah! Mummy file. What does it say that? 
I think it's Cofagrigus, but I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, that'll be all for today then. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. And, uh, well, we'll continue streaming this game then. Uh, hold on, I'll just make a save state as well to make sure that I don't lose any progress. Take good care of yourselves then. Thank you so much for the good time tonight. And I shall be back tomorrow then. And we'll have more uh, more of this game to experiment with, uh, to experience tomorrow is what I should say. See you next time then. Take care. Bye-bye.